In a previous video, I demonstrated how to set up your Turnigy 9X for three different flight modes, both with your NASA and your APM 2.5. And what I wanted to do is I've been having the need to add a few more flight modes uh, to my configuration. So this tutorial will show you how to use your Turnigy 9X and the stock firmware to configure uh, six different flight modes in your mission planner. Let me start by showing you the switches in action. So we have the gear switch and then our three mode switch and with a combination of these two switches we can get six different flight modes so I'm gonna go ahead and toggle my gear switch and if you notice the mission planner we've gone into flight mode 2 which is acro so I'm gonna to toggle back to flight mode 1 and then go down to my second switch position now we're in flight mode 3 gear switch down flight mode 4 and then I'll go finally to my last switch position. We're in flight mode five, and then toggle the gear, and we're in flight mode six. So now let's dive into what it takes to get this set up. Okay, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to wire up our Turnigy 9X receiver. In this case, I have the FreeSky receiver. We're gonna wire that up to our APM 2.5. And it's important to know in this case, we're not going to use channel 5. We're going to go from our motor inputs directly to the 6th pin, which is going to be channel 6. I'm going to go ahead and get that put into place. And then on the other end, we are going to connect that to input number 5 on our APM and input number five is what we'll use to configure our different flight modes. So that's all you need to do uh, to get your connections set up. The other important thing about this setup is you need to make sure that you go into your model profile and for flight mode, normally I flew in heli mode but have recently gone into acro mode you have to be in acro mode to get the six position switch to work properly. So we're gonna go ahead and select that. And now we're gonna go into our settings. And the first thing you wanna do is link our auxiliary channel, channel number five, and we wanna set that to gear. So we're gonna hit menu to save that. Okay, now with our gear switch configured we can go into program mixes so that's under settings and on the second page the very near the very bottom something called program mix so we're going to select that and we're going to set up our mixes for one two and three in, in each one of those mixes will correspond to a different switch position Let's start with mix one, which is going to correspond to the end position, the first position of our switch. And what we want to do is we want to make that stay active. And for master, we're going to set, select gyro, slave, flat. And then for our switch, we're going to set that to normal, which is the first switch position here. Okay, now next up is the somewhat tricky part, but not too complicated. Now, we're going to mess with our up rate and our down rate, and those rates correspond to, this is the down rate because the switch is in the down position, and the up rate corresponds to the switch being in the up position. We want to make sure that our transmitter and our receiver are binded together and we're connected with our APM to Mission Planner. Now that we're connected in Mission Planner, this is actually the latest version, so your menu options might differ a little bit, but I'm gonna go to Config and Tuning, and then to Flight Modes, and you'll see that our current PWM on Channel 5 is around 1491. Now I wanna show you what happens next. So our down rate, once again, with our switch down, is at zero, and if you look at Mission Planner, 
that corresponds with this 1491 PWM. Now you can watch as I increase this down rate. So I'm just going to kind of keep clicking. And then I'm going to show you Mission Planner. And you can see that green highlight. You can see it kind of move up and down into the different flight modes. So I'm going, now I'm going down and back up. Now you can see with a down rate of 100, that puts us at a PWM of 1067, which is between the 0 and 1230 range, and puts us in stabilized mode. So we'll go ahead and accept that for our first flight mode. And then what we want to do next is toggle our gear switch to the up rate, and then move up in our menu to up rate. Now you can see my up rate of minus 45, which puts us in flight mode 2 with that green highlight. PWM is 1300, and you want to be somewhere kind of in between the bounds. This says 1230 to 1360. You don't want to be on the edge of those channels, so somewhere in the middle. And for our first switch position, we have an up rate of negative 45 and a down rate of 100. And let me just go ahead and show you as I toggle the switch. So that's the down, and that's the up position. Now we want to go ahead and hit menu to save that, and that's our first mix. So moving on to mix two, go down, hit menu. That's going to be the middle position on the switch, which is ID1. So we're going to set that to active. Master and slave are going to be the same. Gyro and flap. Switch position is on ID1. And now we're going to tweak our up and down rates to match PWMs for flight mode 3 and flight mode 4. So my rates for the second switch position are 20 for up and 15 for down. So gear switch is down in position 2, flight mode 3 up flight mode 4. So let's go ahead and save those. And we'll go down to mix 3. Make it active and make sure our switch is in the third position. Master, gyro, slave, flap, switch position ID 2. There we go. For switch position 3 we have 100 for up rate and minus 50 for down rate. You can see we're in the final switch position. So in down we're in flight mode 5 and up we're in flight mode 6. Okay so next you just want to make sure you set your flight modes. We'll just go down the list. Acro, altitude hold, auto, guided, and loiter. We'll save those. That's done, and now let's take a look. So, then switch position one, gear switch down, puts me in stabilize, gear switch up, puts me in acro, then I'll go to switch position two, gear switch down, altitude hold, flight mode three, auto, flight mode four, and then we'll go down to our final switch position. The gear switch is down, puts us in flight mode five, which is guided, Flight mode 6, which is loiter. So that's how you set up your Turner G9X and APM 2.5 for six flight modes. And once again, the most important things are make sure you have your channel 6. Go into input number 5 on your APM board. And make sure you set your mode type to acro. So that's how you configure your Turner G9X for six flight modes with APM 2.5. Took me a little while to figure out, but with the help of a how-to document in the Ardu Copter Wiki, I was able to figure it out, and I'll definitely post a link to that in the description below. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to post them, and thanks for watching.